Okay, so advanced tool usage. Many people don't know this, but you can uh, link the tools, the Micros tools, into the uh, right click send to menu, which is very useful. So I have one function to convert selected files from Wave to VSS or the other way around, or convert everything from VSS to Wave in a folder. So what does this mean? Remember how we used to pull the files into the DVSS or into any tool one by one? Well, now you select everything, right click, send to DVSS, bam, you're done. And back again, you're done. Yeah. So I did this by creating custom bad files. I will not go into details on that. Uh, it's complicated as fuck but stuff just works. So what I will do is I will give you guys custom batch files which you will put into your Micros folder and you will create links to these bad files and put these links into following folder shell double point send to. Okay. Um, so DVSS, yeah, there is one limitation though. Um, it, you cannot use it on too many files. For example, if I was to select all WAV files within here, which are like, what is it, 107 files, this might actually work. Usually the limit is around 120 files at once. Uh, let's try if this works. Oh, indeed it works. What basically is happening is uh, you're selecting all these files and right by right clicking send to, a couple of variables get sent um, to a program and the list which contains the variables is kind of limited so if so if you send too many files the list just get full gets full and stuff doesn't work out but look at this we have no more wave files everything is uh, VSS yeah so ready to go for Arma uh, another bad I use often is DVSS folder um, I'm not a pro programmer or anything, I just hacked it together, so all it can do is it goes through folders and subfolders of the selected folder, looks for VSS files and converts them to WAV. So it does not delete VSS files after conversion, which is what I like, but I cannot do it. So let's give it a run. I know that in Mega Bullet Impacts there are a lot of files, 111 files. Um, the good thing is there is no limit. So you know, it could be even 10,000 files, it would just run no problem. So again, I right click, send to DVSS folder, and it starts converting. So here are all the WAV files again, and I can make a search for VSS, and just delete everything. And I end up with the situation I've been before. So I use this for audio a lot, I mean, it's just, it's just uh, practical. <laughs> so, another thing, Remember how if you uh, if you link your PBOs to the extract PBO from Micro, you will always um, it will extract, and after it's done extracting, it says press any key to close. Well, this is kind of annoying to me, so what I did is I created a custom batch as well, and I will give it to you too. So what you do is right click, open with, and select new standard program. Um, then you go ahead and find your Micros folder, where is where you will put these batches. And it's called DPBO for double clicks bat. So what it does is this. It extracts the data and when it's done, it just closes itself. Enter or double click. And when it's done extracting, it closes itself. So I have this Arsenal folder and there are a lot of sounds in it. 800 sounds, so again, I can yeah, right click, send to DVSS folder, and it will convert all the VSS files to WAV for me so I can take a listen. Yep. Pretty sweet stuff. The bad files will be in the description, so what you do with them is you just take them, put them into your micro folder. Um, for the DVSS and DVSS folder, you create links and put them into shell double point send to. And the DPBO for double clicks, you just you just right click on the PBO, open with, find that 
batch file and select always open up with that batch file. Alright, look at that, all the wave files. So this is some advanced stuff. Enjoy.